What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are showcasing an absolute banger of a team. We got ourselves an off-meta Gigantamax Gengar team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, take two seconds out of your day to scroll down a little bit and click that big red subscribe button. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Viking BGC. Thank you so much for tweeting at me and leaving this team for me. Links to all of his socials will be down in the description below. Definitely go check him out. He makes awesome team and awesome content. But let's get started here. And at top left corner, we have the one and only Gengar. And everybody loves Gengar. Such a cool Pokemon. I do wish it was a bit stronger in Series 12, but it is still rather a decent Pokemon. It's got Cursed Body alongside with the Focus Ash. And then it's got Shadow Ball and Sludge Bomb, both for stab moves, Trick Room for, you know, setting up Trick Room and Protect for its fourth and final move. Second Pokemon is going to be our first restricted Pokemon. It is going to be Kyogre, which Rizzle for that weather control. And then it's got the Mystic Water as its item to boost water damage. It's got Water Spout, Origin Pulse, Thunder, and Protect a fairly normal moveset for any Kyogre. Middle left is going to be Calyrex over here, and usually I like to roll out with Calyrex with Focus Ash, but this one is rocking room service just in case, you know, it's going inside Trick Room. It's got Astro Barrage alongside with Bulldoze, it's got Speed Swap, and then it has Protect. I really do like this moveset because you can hand off its speed to any Pokemon. You can also Bulldoze to proc policy on the Metagross. It just works well all around. So yeah, I can just give Calyrex speed to Rhyperior if I want. Which I think we might we might have to do that. We might have to do that because it does sound really good. Fourth Pokemon is going to be that right here. It's got Lightning Rod as its ability, alongside with the Life Orb as its item. It's got Rock Wrecker and High Horsepower both for stab, and has Ice Punch for coverage and Protect for its fourth move. Bottom left hand corner is going to be that Weakness Policy Metagross, and I love Metagross. Just such a good Pokemon all around. Great stats and an even better ability. Clear Body is such a strong ability, and I really like that because it can't be intimidated. It's got Iron Head for Stab, Stopping Cantrum, and Ice Punch for Coverage. And last but not least, it's rolling out with Protect. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Rillaboom. And Rillaboom is one of those Pokemon, like I always say, can be used on any single team. It's got Grassy Surge for Terrain Control. It's got a, that Assault Vest to make them a bit more bulkier. Then it's got Grassy Guide, High Horsepower, Fake Out for Flinches, and you turn to Pivot Out. Guys, if you want to try out this team for yourself, the rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But you guys know the deal. Let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's get them get some wins with this Gigantamax Gengar Series 12 team. First battle coming at you guys. We're going up against a pretty cool team. Not fully meta, but got some meta Pokemon on it. He's got Shadow Rider Calyrex alongside with Zacian. Then he has a Galarian Moltres. Hit him on top for fake outs and intimidates. And then he's got Tapu Koko and Heatran. How should I go into this one? How should I play it? I kind of want to go into like Calyrex and Metagross and probably proc weakness policy and then even go into like a speed swap and kind of just roll from there. It does sound really good. So, you know, what? I'm going to end up leading both of them. Wait, it sounds gorgeous. It sounds lovely. I'm going to lead them both and we're going to rock out after. Right? Is that our play? Let me see this thing's speed. Is it fully maxed out? Because I'm kind of scared of the other Shadow Rider Calyrex, right? Speed's fully boosted and it is Jolly Nature. So, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. It's Jolly Nature. Doesn't Jolly drop special attack? I think Jolly does drop special attack, so Jolly might not be the, be the best ability for him, but it works out because it boosts his speed, and you just want him as fast as you possibly can. So yeah, we're going to go Calyrex. We're going to go Metagross here, potentially prop weakness policy, and then Kyogre's going to be a great Pokemon alongside with... Uh, do I go Gengar? Gengar wouldn't be bad either. Gengar or Rollboom? Let's say we go Gengar. Let's rock out with Gengar. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in Battle Number 1. But guys, you guys know the deal before we even start Battle Number 1. You guys got to head to the comment section down below and let me know for a question of the day. What Pokemon would you like or do you wish received a Gigantamax form? Because there's so many different cool Pokemon that didn't get a Gigantamax form, such as Dragapult. Dragapult's the one I book that I thought deserved one that didn't get it. So, uh, you know, let me know in the comment section down below. He's going to go Intimidate with this. Or not Intimidate. Yeah, Intimidate with the uh, him on top. Alongside with Fake Out. And I have Clear Body, though. And he can't Fake Out my Calyrex, so I don't know what he's going to do. He could Wide Guard. I think he might go into Wide Guard. Do I just Bulldoze slow down? Might Bulldoze proc policy kind of roll from there. Might do that. I might do that. I could Speed Swap. Might just Speed Swap. I don't know. Do I Speed Swap? I can Speed Swap and drop Ice and get rid of that Calyrex. It does sound lovely. It does sound lovely. You know, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna also protect. Hmm. That thing's gotta be Sash, right? He's gotta be Sash. You know, we're just gonna go straight after him like that. I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. We're gonna Dynamax. We're gonna pass the speed over, and we're gonna try to get Metagross rolling here. We are going to try to get the Metagross out and about and just tearing up this field. 
Because if I can give a Calyrex a speed, it could do crazy amounts of damage. Especially with that weakness policy proc. So we're gonna, we're gonna go for it. So Metagross again that Dynamax. Metagross obviously isn't as good as it used to be considering there's Pokemon like Calyrex on the field. And it's just a problem at all times. Let's see what he goes for. He goes for the wide guard. So again, I predicted the wide guard. And I went to a speed swap instead. And we do go first. This actually might make Metagross faster, right? Metagross is faster now. It's cool. Just Hailstorm's gonna fly out here. Bring it down the focus ash. Do a lot of damage, right? How much damage are you doing? Not enough damage. Kinda hurts the soul. Kinda hurts the soul, but still. We're thriving here. I wish I could have did more. I wish I definitely could have did more. He goes for the Ash Barrage, and that's gonna do a huge chunk of damage on the Metagross. And take out my Calyrex. Ah! Takes out my Calyrex. But still. But still, we, we pass that speed off. That's my only problem with uh not having a focus ash on Calyrex. It usually helps us out tremendously. But he's gonna grim nade boost. I have speed on him, unless it was just a speed time, but I don't think it was. I don't think it was. I just think we're 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 definitely faster. But yeah, I can take out Calyrex when I want to. I can go into who should I go into? I could go into Kyogre here. Kyogre's not too bad. Oh, I can roll into Gengar and pop a trick room, but I don't think that's the play. We're gonna go into Kyogre here. I agree. You are coming out here. We are setting the rain. I'm going to take out Calyrex. I'm going to get either defense or special defense boost. And I'm just going to get rid of this uh, hit on top. I mean, he could wide guard me again. He could definitely wide guard me. So I might just go into a thunder. My guard's looking scary, right? My guard's definitely looking scary. But let's see what other Pokemon you have. You have a few physical attackers. You definitely have Zassy in the back end. So I'm going to boost defense here. And you know, I'm just going to go into a thunder. I'm just going to go into a thunder. I'm going to boost defense here. And I'm going to get rid of this guy. Because again, you know, wide guard is just like the move, right? You know, withdraw Calyrex. Who are you going into? We're steel spiking into this slot. Who are you going into? You're going to go into the bird. Okay, so you go into the bird. That's totally fine. He's going to end up wide guarding again. Good thing we're reading wide guards all day. We are reading wide guards all day. And I bet you six million pokey dollars that he doesn't go into a wide guard next turn. So we steel spike this one. We say bye bye to Moltres. That's a huge, that's a huge kill. That's a huge kill. It's a huge kill. And we get that defense boost on top of that. So we have Metagross absolutely buzzed. Metagross is teeing off left and right, and he has crazy speed. Thunder's going to come out here because, you know, we read those wide guards all day. We're not playing around, and we're going to do some nice damage over on him. You mean to paralyze? We don't get to paralyze, but is that a jack button? It is a jack button. He's going to be forced to throw out, I think, Zacian and Calyrex. And I don't know what Pokemon he's going to Dynamax. I do not know what Pokemon he's going to Dynamax. Here comes the Calyrex, and here probably comes Zacian, right? That seems probably going to come out here, right? I could see a max guard from Calyrex, right? I mean, can he go back into uh, him on top at this point? I think he can. And he does. He's going to go for the fake out here. Uh, I say we just get rid of Calyrex. I say we just protect and get rid of the Calyrex. Clear body's coming out here. Calyrex could max guard, but I have to get rid of it, right? I have to go after that. So I'm just going to go for the protect here. Do I even go for the protect? I mean, obviously he's faking me out. Right? I think we just go for, like, say, a water spout at this point. We have speed on him all day, and I'm just going to go into a steel spike here. Boost my defense. I mean, if he guards, he guards. I can probably kill him with an iron head next turn. But the reason I have to go into a move, that I, I got to make sure I would go into a move here. The reason I have to go into a move here is in case he doesn't fake out my, uh, my Kyogre, and he goes after my Metagross. I'm just going to double down here. He's going to end up Dynamax with his Pokemon, and I think it's just going to be a max guard, right? It's got to be a max guard. It has got to be a max guard. But if he was smart, he actually probably would have brought out Zacian at this point. Because Zacian has some speed to him. He can outspeed my Kyogre. But we do have Focus Ash Gengar in the back end. Which I love that we brought. I really do like that we brought. Let's see how he ends up. He goes for the guard. Kind of saw that from a mile away. And is he going to fake me out? He's going to go for the fake out. That's all good. That's fine. You can waste out the turns. Like I said, I think an Iron Head should be able to take out this... Uh, this uh, Calyrex. And then we could get Thrive from there. I'm just going to drop a Thunder because we know Thunder is going to hit. And we know Thunder is going to take out that uh, him on top. I'm just going to go for Thunder onto the him on top slot. And then Iron Head should 100% be able to take this thing out. Stab. Weakness policy plus two. Come on now. Let's go, Metagross. Finish this Calyrex off. And Calyrex is not bulky at all. It's pretty much a glass cannon. He's going to end up withdrawing him on top. And who's he going to go into? Zacian? Can we get a Paralyze on him? It is going to be Zacian. Can we get a Paralyze on him? Wow, I could have went into Water Spout. Did some crazy damage. They did some crazy damage to that thing. Iron Head's going to come back through. It's should KO, right? Awesome. We're sitting in such a good spot. So he just wants to fake out again. He just wants to fake out. And at this point, it's like, 
Who are you gonna fake out? A Metagross with weakness policy proc and has Caloric speed or a Kyogre that can just drop, you know, launch spell. But Thunder comes out here, give me the para. It's para time. No paralyzed, man. Wow, the Thunder's 0 for 2. It's 0 for 2 today, battle number one. But this is such a good battle. This is such a good battle. We're, we're playing really well with this Metagross. He's going to intimidate. That's totally fine. We have Clear Body, which is gorgeous. Like I said in the beginning, one of the best abilities in the game. Clear Body is amazing. So he can fake me out. I think I just drop a Water Spout at this point, or probably an Orange Pulse, right? I'm just an Orange Pulse across the board, and then I could stop and Cantrum. Right? Stop and Cantrum would do more damage. Stop and Cantrum right in there. And that should pretty much wrap up the battle, right? He's going to fake out who? He's going to fake out you. That's totally fine. And who are you going to take out? That's the real question. You go for Sacred Sword. You're going to take out him. Cool. We have an Origin Pulse flying across the board. If this lands, it's game over. And if it doesn't land, we have Gengar chilling in the back end. I do like where we're sitting. Origin Pulse comes through here. Who dodged it? Who dodged it? Which one of you guys? Which one of you guys dodged it? Okay. Cool. Hit my top dodge. <laughs> Even better. We get rid of Zacian. We have a boy Gengar coming in this back end. And there's no way this hit my top can clean up this battle. What a set. What a battle. What a battle to get this video started. Absolutely loved it. We sacrificed our Caldex just to speed swap, and it rolled out from there after he pocked the policy. Metagross was just teeing off left and right. We're just going to go into a Thunder here. 100% accuracy, and then on top of that, what does more damage? Nice little Sludge Bomb. Nice little Sludge Bomb. And battle was canceled. There it is, guys. 1-0 to get us started. Let's hop to our second. Look to go back to back. Second battle coming at you guys, and we're going up against a top tier Trick Room team. I was actually watching the uh, Pokemon Worlds, and people were using this team right here. Caldrex, Palkia with Amoongus, Tapu Fini, P2, and Incineroar. Like I said, probably one of the best Trick Room teams in the game. But how should I go into this one? How should I play it? I mean, I can bring my Rhyperior here. Rhyperior could be solid. I could actually lead Caldrex here as well, but I think he's just going to lead the P2. He's going to kind of roll out from there. So I could go Rhyperior as a lead. I could go Kyogre as a lead. Kyogre is not too bad as a lead. I kind of like Kyogre as lead, but then he, dude, he just has so many different options he can actually lead into and pop the trick room. I definitely want to lead right here, so I'm going to actually lead the right here. I could actually lead the real boom too, just for a fake out in turn one, but the problem is if he leads in Cinnamor. I really don't want to go minus one here. I'm going to go Calyrex. I might even go Gengar and just try to cancel the trick room. Might even be my play. That could be a solid play. That could be a solid play. You know, I'm going to lead both of them. I am indeed going to leave both of them. They can't be faked out. We'll bring Rhyperior in the back end. And then last but not least, we'll roll out with Kyogre. I mean, Kyogre does have room service, but I'm going to try to cancel that trick from here. And then I have Rhyperior. Just in case, you know. This one's going to be tough. This one's definitely going to be tough. Like I said, this is probably one of the best. If not, it is the best trick from team in the game at the moment. So it is definitely hard to play up against because it has so many different options with, with Pop and Trick Room. And once it gets off that Trick Room, it has so many strong Pokemon. But he's going to end up leading the Palkia P2, right? No, Palkia and Amoongus going to fly out here. Uh, I don't mind it. I don't really mind it. I mean, he definitely wants to try to pop off that Trick Room, right? That's 100% his play. What I could do is pop Trick Room on my, on my own. Or do we think he's going to Dynamax? There's no way he Dynamax, right? It's got to be a Rage Powder into a Trick Room call. It's got to be a Rage Powder into a Trick Room call. So I'm just going to Astro Barrage on top of this. I'm just going to pop Trick Room all on my own. Right? Do I make that read? It's got to be. Because the problem here is if I don't make that, like, if this is the wrong call and he's not popping Trick Room, we just set it up for him. But I'm going to, I'm going to, I have a gut feeling. I have a gut feeling. It's got to be Rage Powder, right? He withdraws a Moogus. Who are you going to go into? He too is going to come out here. So he's not popping Trick Room. He's just going to protect Palkia. Right? It's tough. I, I might have screwed up. Means might have screwed up here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, because Palkia, like, didn't protect or anything. Yes, Palkia tricked him. Cool, cool. Good call by us. Good call from Jeans. Good call from Jeans. That's actually going to lower my speed. I mean, it really don't matter. We're kind of faster than everybody already. Trick him coming out here. And we canceling it. I have to cancel it. I'm not dealing with it. So my speed's still minus one, which is kind of funny. That's kind of funny, but we should still be able to outspeed pretty much most of you guys. I can just Ashraj, or I can just speed swap you. And then on top of that... Just throw like a Shadow Ball. Now I'm gonna get after his Palkia, right? A Shadow Ball or a Sludge Bomb? I'm just gonna Sludge Bomb into this thing. I'm gonna take P2 and allow him to set up Trick Room. So I'm gonna say, Ayo, hey, give me that speed. <laughs> Make him the fastest on the field. Cause he's gotta be the one. Oh no, he's going for Foul Play. How dare you? Can you pop a Trick Room, Palkia? Palkia, can you please pop a Trick Room? I would think he is, right? No, he go. Oh no. Oh no, leave me alone. He goes in my Gengar. Gengar should be able to soak. He has Focus Ash anyway. 
Beautiful. And we're going to be able to get off the Shadow Ball. I take my speed back now. Because P2 is now fastest on the field. I don't know if I can. But Sludge Bomb's going to come out here. Give me the poison. Let's go. Big time poison. That gets rid of Palkia. And do we really think he's going to pop Trick Room? Can. Can, but we just made this P2 the fastest on the field. Predicting another Trick Room. But I'm surprised he didn't go into it. I'm surprised he didn't go into it. But I kind of want him to do it now. Because we have Rhyperion ready to roll. We have Rhyperion ready to roll. But Calyrex is a problem. If he's going to end up going into Amoongus, I think he just Rage Powders his shot, right? And now he actually pops Trick Room. And I counter it up again if I want to. But I'm just going to drop an Astro Barrage. And on top of that, I am just going to Shadow Ball or Sludge Bomb? I just like the Sludge Bomb ball. Let's bomb the Sludges. Let's bomb the Sludges. But yo, this is such a good battle. He's got to be going for Rage Powder or something into this, right? Probably should target down the P2 just in case he protects the Amoongus. Because Amoongus is one of those Pokemon that... And that's tricking him. He's gonna foul play take out my Calyrex. That's fine. And uh, I think Amoongus probably just going for Palm Puppy, right? Hopefully I can get a poison. Plus, I'm fine. And I'm actually glad he didn't pop the trick room now. He's gonna, sp he's gonna spore me. He spores me. I'm really mind the spore. I'm really mind the spore. What should I go into? Right here or. Rhyperior should be fast. Is he faster than Amoongus? I don't know, man. I think I gotta wait for a trick room. I think I just head into Ogre here. The spores can do me dirty. I think we just pop a water spout. I think we just pop a water spout. Get off as much damage as we can. The spores can do me dirty. But I'm, I'm, I need this dude to kind of pop a trick room, right? I'm kind of hoping he can just pop that trick room. Water spout coming out here. Maybe I'll try to pop the trick room. I think I kind of need it, right? I think I kind of need it. I think Rapier can really thrive in here. He's gonna end up protecting the Moongus. That's totally fine. And I think. Go ahead, pop the trick room, please. I'm just gonna eerie impulse me down. We could hard swap him. I really gotta try to get off this trick room. I might hard swap this Kyogre this turn. I might hard swap the Kyogre this turn. And hope that my Gengar wakes up. Gengar is probably dead this turn, you know? But I have to swap. I have to swap him, right? I'm gonna swap the Kyogre. I'm gonna bring out Rhyperior. And I'm gonna try to pop the Trick Room if I can. This is tough. This is real tough. The plays that this guy's making. I'm gonna be upset if he pops Trick Room and I pop Trick Room. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset because I really kind of need it now. We both still have Dynamax, too. We're both still ripping with it. He's gonna go for the Eerie Impulse. We're gonna Lightning Rod that. Beautiful. What's the Moongus going for? He's gonna spore me. Moongus. Come on now. Come on now. Wake up, Gengar. Just pop Trick Room. Let's go. Gengar wakes up. We get off this Trick Room. So we can counter it up. Um, Amoongus is probably gonna take out my Gengar. And I wish I could wake up with my right period, but I cannot. I simply cannot. I'm just gonna Ice Punch. I really wanna die next, though. And I guess I'll go into like something. Try to get off some damage on this thing. He withdraws P2 and he's gonna go to Calyrex. And I think my only hope here is Rhyperior is slower than Calyrex, and it might be. It might be, but the Rage Powders and all the slowdowns can really be. He's gonna pop up to take me out, probably, right? Oh my god, dude. Come on. Come on, man. Sleep's just overpowering, dude. Sleep is just overpowering. Rhyperior is some. I'm gonna Dynamax from here. I feel like I have to, right? I feel like I have to Dynamax him. Drop a rock. I feel like I have to Dynamax him, right? I'm gonna double down Shadow Ball into this thing. But dude, come on now. Sleep Powders. We're not Sleep Powders. Spore's just OP, man. Spore's just OP. That's why Amoongus is like one of the best Trick Room Pokemon. Because once it's in Trick Room, it legit goes first. Spore, Spore, Spore. But I feel like Spore should be one of those moves that kind of like work like Trick Room. Where it goes last in time, you know? Because it, it, at this point, it's just broken. It's super, super strong. But we Dynamax right here and we move past it because my boy's gonna wake up here. No way he's taking a two turn sleep. My peer is built different here. He's built different. Go ahead, Dynamax at Calyrex. I dare you. He's gonna Dynamax at Calyrex. Yeah, so Calyrex gets Dynamax. My peer is faster in Trick Room, which is amazing. Which is really, really good for us. But we need him to wake up. But we need him to wake up because he actually might be able to eat up a, a Hailstorm from a Calyrex. 
This is pretty bulky on the defensive side, but we need him to wake up. And a rage powder could come through here. It could definitely come through here. Let's see what he does. The boys wake up. Spore's coming out here. I'm already asleep. And I'm still asleep. I can't do this game anymore. Quake's coming in hot. Who are you taking out? What are you going after? Special defense boost. Put him right here. I would think he would go for an ice boot, right? Wouldn't you think that? Wouldn't you think that? But I guess he wants that special defense. And he got a crit. So that makes me feel like we can eat up another crit. But I just think he goes to a different move here. Hurts the soul. Vanguard is slumped. So, dude, all my Pokemon are just Really hurts, man. Really hurts. But let's Rock Ball here and Shadow Ball go. This hurts. Hurts the soul. So what's Amoongus going to do here? Amoongus, I kind of hope he just goes for another sport here because it would just waste a turn. I don't know how much damage our Rock Ball is really going to do. I don't think it's going to KO it. But it should be able to do a huge chunk of damage. Hurts soul. Go for it. Here, there's the Rage Batter. So hopefully we can wake up and have this two turn sleep and kind of roll from there. And there it is. Okay, cool. We wake up. Can we take this thing out? Just get rid of this. Get rid of this little booger. See you later. Gone. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. And Gengar, can you wake up? Can you wake up just a little bit? Just a little bit. Just a quick wake up. Get off some damage here. Because Calyrex might take it out, my boy. He goes for another Quake and might be able to eat it up. Which he does. He does go for Quake. And I, don't, I think if he, gets, if he doesn't get a crit here... We do. That's gorgeous. That's lovely. That's huge. That is huge. That is huge. That is huge. Gengar wakes up here. We're going to go for Shadow Ball. He's going to be able to soak up pretty well. But is this thing policy? It might be. It's not. It's not. What item are you, are you holding? A Beery Berry? It might be a Beery Berry. But Gengar's going to drop out here. Um, I don't really mind it. I mean, he can eerie impulse me. I don't know. I don't think the speed stat is the same now. Because we speed swapped into it. I don't think. I don't know if it still has a good swap. We're going to change the weather back. I'm going to have to drop a rock onto this thing. And he might even max guard it. Do I guard this shot? I might max guard it. Just in case he wants to try to take on my right here. How many turns left in trick him? We got extra save. One turn. We have to go for a shot. We have to go for a shot, right? We have to, or do I rock fall into the P2? Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go there, and I'm just going to protect you. Dude, he might change up weather, which could hurt. But, you know, I'm going to protect Kyogre. Because Kyogre's going to take speed after this. And he's going to guard. I knew I should have went after the P2. I knew it. I knew it. Okay, so protect guards. All that stuff's coming out here. That's kind of fine. We still have Rain Neck and Water Spout next turn. Not too bad. We kind of get after any foul plays. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. I knew I should have went after the P2. I knew I should have went after it. But still, I can uh, drop Water Spouts now, which is really, really good for us. Really good for us. It's gonna come. It's coming down to the wire here. Coming down to the wire because I don't know if we can actually KO any of these Pokemon with a Water Spout. Are we full HP? We are full HP. Water Spout. Let's go. Get after it, yo. This is such a good battle. We're having some good old battles in today's video. The Water Spout's fine. He knows it's coming, but I don't know if uh, P2 speed is still faster than mine. I don't know if the speed swap stays with him. I don't think it does. I don't think it does. And it doesn't. That's awesome. So Water Spout comes out here. Can you KO the Calyrex at least? No, but oh, we don't KO the P2. We don't KO the P2. He's going to recover. Okay, um, that's not too bad because I think an Orgy Pulse can take out the Calyrex. What's Calyrex going for here? What do you got? He's, oh, no, he pops a Trick Room. How dare you? Now he's just going to Eerie Impulse me. That's GG's, right? Unless we get some crits out here. Hurts his soul. I think he's just going to... I should have protected. He's going to protect and then pop a Eerie Impulse. What a play. What a play to finish off the battle. Smart plays by him. We were so close to taking out that P2. That would have won us the battle if we took out P2. Right? Yeah. Because then I would have just been able to eat up a shot, drop an orange pulse, and win the battle. Oh, wow. What a set of battles. What a set of battles here. He's going to go for the high horsepower. He's not going to protect. And I think he your impulses, right? He's going to recover again. How dare you? Actually, it gives me a fighting chance. That gives me a fighting chance that he recovers. The origin pulse, we just need to start connecting, which it does. And this might be a long battle. This might be a long battle, because origin pulse takes out Calyrex, right? Get it out of here. It doesn't, because of that dang special defense boost. That dang special defense boost. And what's he going to do here? Another high horsepower? Probably high horsepower in the foul play, right? I should have protected this turn. I should have protected this turn and start wasting out Trick Room, because that would have gave us a shot. But maybe he recovers again. 
Just see. See, Calyrex protects, and I think he's going for your impulse. Smart play. Or is he recovering again? He's going to recover. It's a good thing we are attacking. If I can waste out Trick Room, we might have a shot. He just wants to go back up with the full HP and kind of get it from the other way. Hmm. Do I protect this turn? I think I might have to. The Origin Pulse is going to fly here. It's going to chip up some damage on the P2. It's doing a good amount of damage. And then how many turns do we have left in Trick Room? Two. I could protect this turn. I'm going to do. I am going to protect. And he's going to come after me. Calyrex. And then he might protect next turn. But again, Trick Room just gets wasted. Coming down to the wire, yo. Coming down to the wire. He goes for the high horsepower. We say block. And Rain's gone, isn't it? I think Rain ends here. Kind of hurts soul, but P2's just going to recover. Hate this game. Hate you, P2. This is why it seems so good, dude. It's good at stalling out, too. It has Pokemon like P2. Kind of thrive out. And at this point, we just have to drop another Origin Pulse. Alarx might probably protect you, right? God dang it. P2, I think, has this one in the bag. Is there anything we can do up against it? He goes for the high horsepower. He gets off another turn. We soak up. And then he goes for an eerie impulse. That's what I was waiting for. So I was going to run the battle, but I was just like, if he's not going to eerie impulse me, we have a somewhat of a shot. But now he eerie impulses. Origin pulses come out here. And I think it should be able to take out Calyrex. Hopefully, maybe. It's plus two on special defense. I just want to get rid of it. Okay, cool. We get rid of it. And that's going to be GG's. That is now going to be GG's. He too can legit just foul play me out. I mean, we could actually play this one out, see if we can get, grab ourselves a crit. Right, we're going to need a crit here, so I'm going to go for it. I am going to go for the crit. Stay in here. Crits, crits are definitely doable. We can have some luck. I think it's like a 12.5% chance of landing a crit. So we're looking for the luck. Let me, let, me, let me roll the dice here. Let me roll the dice. Dice are rolled. And poopy damage. Poopy damage and he pops a trick room. Okay, now, it's, now he's just going to, you know, foul play me out. Do all that good stuff. He has speed. And that's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. I'm going to run the battle. One and one. Solid second battle. Let's hop to a third. Look for that winning record. Final battle coming at you guys. Let's look to grab ourselves a winning record. We're going up against a top tier Series 12 team. You guys definitely seen this team all over the rank ladder. It is the Charizard Groudon with Zacian, Gastrodon, Grimstone, and Incineroar. Like I said, top tier uh, Series 12 team. And people probably use it in Worlds. I didn't watch every single world's battle, but people probably use this team in worlds. It's just super strong and super great all around. But how should I go into this one? How should I lead it? I feel like we could pop a trick room and kind of get Rhyperior rolling here. And I'm kind of with that. So I might just lead Gengar to pop a trick room. So yeah, I'm going to go Gengar here alongside with a roll boom just so I can fake out and kind of roll from there. Yeah, I do like that. I do like that. So I'm going to go Gengar. I'm going to go roll boom and then I'm just going to bring Rhyperior in the back end. And then last but not least, did we bring Calyrex with a room service? I think so. I think that could be pretty solid. Let's do it. Let's give it a roll. Let's give it a try. Or I could bring Kyogre, but... You know, we could change up weather with Rhyperior, which I kind of like. Because if I get off the Trick Room, I'm obviously going to Dynamax to Rhyperior. Then I can just drop a Rock, Bang, Stab damage, change up weather at the same time, we can roll from there. Plus, it's super effective up against a lot of his Pokemon. So, I'm with it all day. I'm with it all day. All day long. But, yo, the first two battles, great battles, dude. I always love having good battles like that that are long and drawn out for videos for you guys. So, hopefully, you guys are enjoying them. If you guys are, you guys know the deal. Drop a like on today's video. But uh, he's going to end up going into... Who's faster? Robum or... Actually, we can see by the uh, abilities right here. So, hopefully, Intimidate comes out here first. No. Actually, yeah, we're faster. Our, our ability came out here first. That's actually good. Okay, so I can fake out the instant all day. And that's definitely what I'm going to do. Because I just want to pop off this Trick Room. I just want to get this Trick Room out and about. So I don't care if Roboom goes down here. I'm popping this Trick Room and I'm going to get rolling. So I'm going to Trick Room and on top of that, I'm just going to... I mean, I could U-turn out. If not, he's going to fake me out. So, you know, I'm just going to fake him out. I'm going to... I'm going to sacrifice my, my Roboom here. Roboom, you gone. He's going to end up protecting new. Okay. Even better. We keep a Roboom. Even better, we keep a Roboom. Beautiful. Beautiful. We love it. So Trick Room's out and about. I like this turn. Now I can new turn out into Rhyperior if I want, though. I'm probably going to do. Probably just swap out. Uh, who do I do damage on, though? I'm just going to go after this Incineroar. And then you turn it out on top of that. Or I can have high horsepower. But I think he's just, just going to kill me, so. I'm going to stay in here and let him kill me. Get off as much damage as I can. He's going to withdraw the Charizard. That's totally fine. Who are you going to go into? Groudon? Yeah, Groudon comes out here. Okay. 
I'm fine with that. I am definitely fine with that. What's Incineroar going for? He's going to go for Throw Chop. That's going to trigger uh, Focus Ash. And I don't really mind this. As long as my, one of my Pokemon go down next turn, I can have three turns with right here, and we can really thrive into this one. What's that Grassy Glide right into the uh, crowd on next turn? So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go for a High Horsepower. I don't think High Horsepower can do this, but it should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. He's going to pop a little Citrus Berry. And at this point, I just roll into another Sludge Bomb. And I roll into a Grass Guide. I'm cool with that. Unless that Groudon's weakness policy. But like I said, if I can lose a Pokemon this turn, we can have how many turns? Three, two turns left. We can have two turns left for Rhyperior. So that's going to be solid for us. So I'm just going to Sludge Bomb in this slot. And then on top of that, I'm just going to Grass Guide. All day long. I can take out one of my Pokemon, please. Just so my Rhyperior can get some value. It would be smart if he doesn't take out any of my Pokemon. It would be smart. Would indeed be smart. But Grass Guy's gonna fly, do some nice damage onto you. Hopefully he's not weakness policy. He's not, and then Flyboy's gonna fly. So he's gonna pick up the kill here. Probably the double kill, yeah. So Robum goes out. I'm cool with that. I'm totally fine with that. I'm gonna drop my speed into Trick Room for uh, Calyrex, and then we're just gonna roll from there. He's gonna take some mean recoil. And I actually go first. That's huge. That is huge. Like, this Gengar is slower than that Groudon. That is huge. That's lovely. So we get rid of him. He's going to end up going for Blades. I like that turn all day. I like that turn. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. I am loving that. I am loving that. So he has the Gengar. Or no, he has the Groudon. He has the Charizard. And then he has one more, which I, if I had to guess, is Assy. But I'm going to bring out right here. I'm going to start getting after it. And I could speed swap with somebody. I could speed swap with somebody this turn if I wanted to. I'm gonna bring out Charizard. I can drop a rock straight into that thing some more. I'm kind of leaning towards doing. I can go for the Quake. What do I want to do here? Jeans want to do here. I, I feel like he's gonna guard, right? He's gotta guard and try to waste out the trick. He's gotta guard or like swapping his ass in. But I think at this point we just drop like ice. I can straight up Quake. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go for the Rock Ball here. Extra Barrage across the board. Ah, it's tough. It's tough news. It's a tough little battle here. Cause I again, I think he does guard. Hopefully, he just protects. He withdraws. I knew I should have went for the Quake. I knew I should have read. Zassian's gonna come out here. We're still gonna do a decent amount of damage. But Trickum is gonna be a little bit of pain for us. Trickum is gonna be a little bit of pain. But we have an Astro Barrage flying. Astral Brush is coming out here, and Calyrex has one more turn left in uh, Trick Room. So, on top of that, it should be slower or technically faster in this case than the Zassian due to that uh, room service. My boy right here getting a Dynamax. I knew I should have quaked, dude. I knew I should have quaked. That would have been an incredible read. That would have been an incredible read. Because obviously, like, you have the Zassian in the back end. You're not going to not bring Zassian. Kind of saw that swap from my way, but I thought maybe he would have a chance at guarding, but still, that is a good amount of damage right there that's a huge chunk of damage he still has dynamax he still has dynamax he still has dynamax you can go for a fire punch we eat that up all day and do not burn me i'd be a little upset and he does not burn me which is great ash is gonna fly through it and can we get the double kill maybe maybe not not even one not even one okay that's fine I'm going to use Viper to get rid of Groudon, and then on top of that, I'm going to get a special defense boost. And then, Calyrex should be slower than Zassian, and we should be able to take it out. But I think he just protects Zassian, right? He's got to protect Zassian. He's got to protect Zassian. He 100% has to protect Zassian. So I'm just going to do this, and I could Bulldoze, but what's it really going to do? He's going to Astral Barrage across the board. Astral Barrage. But yeah, he's, gonna see, he's saving that Dynamax for Charizard. Problem here is, I don't know if my right here can, you know, eat up any shots from the Charizard. But he's gonna protect Zassian all day, right? Maybe, maybe even double protect. Zassian gets to protect. What's he gonna do here? He's not gonna protect him. We're gonna grant the special defense boost. The special defense boost is coming in hot. Um, mm, what do I do? Zassian is such a pain. Zassian is such a pain. I should have went after Zassian. I should have quaked into the Zassian. That should have been my play all day. That probably should be my play because now I'm out of Dynamax turns. Strickrim is gone here as well. And I think he, he has full speed up against me. So 
But at this point, I think I just Astro Barrage and Rock Wrecker into the Charizard, but I don't think I don't think it's gonna be enough. I don't think it's gonna be enough. We should have quaked into the Zassian, knowing it was gonna protect. That should have been our play 100%. I don't know why I didn't do that. I should have thought of it a little bit more because we would have been able to kill through to protect. That could have been a big time kill. Is what 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 is his uh Groudon then? His Groudon probably would have just blade it, fire punch, we would have been able to eat it up. And now he's gonna throw out Char Char. Char Char comes out here. But oh, we still have one more turn Dynamax. We still have one more turn Dynamax. Might even guard here. Might even guard. Do we go after Charizard? I feel like we just go after Zassian. We are, are already plus one on special defense. I feel like we can eat pretty well here. Didn't, I didn't even realize we have one more turn in Dynamax. But we're hoping he's going to max guard here. We're going to hope. But I think he does have the Charty Berry. Charty Berry really does me dirty. <laughs> the Charty Berry is so good. Charty Berry is so good for Charizard. But he's going to end up Dynamax Charizard. We have fingers crossed for the max guard. Let's go, Jeans. You're making the right calls here. You're definitely making the right call. He's definitely guarding me. It's not this nice turn. But you gotta be. You gotta be. He does not. That hurts his soul. He blades me. He blades me. He blades me. Which just absolutely rips in me. So it didn't even matter what I was going into. Zassian's just overpowered. Like, dude, that's ridiculous how you can do 400 some HP in one shot and outspeed every single Pokemon. It's absurd. He's gonna go for a wildfire and that's gonna take me out. That's gonna be the game. Oh, we survived. We survived, but... Yeah, the, 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 we, we can't take out this Charizard now. Wow, I'm super surprised he was able to take me out. Super surprised. If we have one more turn. My boy ate that turn. We could have been sitting pretty good. Could have been sitting really good. But that's going to be the game. He outspeeds me all day. Wildfire is going to chip onto me alongside with the Buffets. And that's game. That is game one and two for today's video. Viking VGC, thank you so much for making this absolute banger. What a set of battles for today's video ended up going one and two and grabbing ourselves a losing record but we definitely could have won at least one of the battles that we lost maybe if i would have made a different play maybe if i would have thought of the plays a little bit more we probably could have grabbed ourselves a win but i love this team all around we got to showcase the gengar you have the kyogre you have the calyrex and then you have two off meta pokemon with the metagross and right here to thrive out and have some fun with but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out Make sure you spend positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.